What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you one of my self-care routines that I use to combat negative emotions, reduce stress, anxiety, and just really hit that reset button so that I can be all smiles and really reconnect with myself. So if you like to see one of my self-care routines, then please keep on watching. So the very first thing I do is I set up the environment for relaxation. I set the mood, if you will. I like to do this by lighting candles, playing some Tibetan singing bowl music in the background, maybe some lemongrass, or anything in 432 hertz to just relax and really get in the calming mood. So then what I like to do is I like to get out my essential oils. Here are some of the essential oils that I have right now. I really love eucalyptus, lavender, and cedar wood is also one of my favorites. Cedar wood is actually very good for calming anxiety and tension, and it's also very good for your respiratory system as well, which is very important right now with what we're all dealing with. And lavender, though it's very soft and feminine and sweet smelling and calming, it's actually very good for your immune system as well. Eucalyptus is also great for your immune system and your upper respiratory system. And every single one of these essential oils is going to benefit you in some form or fashion. And they just smell so delightful and it's so calming and so soothing. And it really just opens up your mind and your heart to feel one with yourself and I always have my diffuser on it just makes me feel like my home is a sanctuary just a calm place away from the outside world and I love it you can get this one off Amazon you can get these essential oils off Amazon as well I'll link them below and always make sure that they are 100% organic so that you are not inhaling anything toxic so now we are going to roll out the red carpet. No, I'm just kidding. It's actually a yoga mat slash workout mat. And we are just going to do some hip opening poses. And hip opening poses are actually really great for calming the nervous system, reducing anxiety, feeling more grounded, which is exactly what we want. And it's also great for your feminine health. But man or woman, I definitely recommend just trying to do some stretches and some poses and when you're doing these even if it's very challenging always remember to just relax regardless of how challenging it is i think that's really such a core lesson that yoga teaches us is to relax in the face of difficulty and just be grounded in the moment and focus on our breath and when you're doing some of these stretches and feeling really tight just remember to release the tension all throughout your body even in your face muscles everything just try to breathe connect to your breath and just relax and as you can see here i am just relaxing just have fun find a yoga youtuber you like and just have fun with it so next we're going to be doing one of my favorite things to do in any type of self-care routine and that is journaling and you've heard this a million times I'm gonna tell you a million and one times to write down a gratitude list <laughs> I just there's no other way to raise your vibrational frequency than being in a state of gratitude just write down every single little thing you are grateful for from the air that you are breathing to your little fingertips your little toes every single thing you can think of write it down and write down that you're grateful for it and i guarantee you you will walk away from those pages feeling lighter feeling higher feeling greater just 
feeling more alive. And when you are done with your gratitude list, write down your affirmations. Don't wish it, affirm it, claim it as yours in the name of Jesus that is yours and just write that and believe it with conviction in your heart and just really be present in every single word you write down on that paper. Another journaling technique that I love is mind dumping and it's basically just dumping everything out of your mind, every to do, every thought, every feeling and just getting it all out of your head and onto the paper. And this can be beneficial in so many different ways, including just being able to prioritize your to-dos. I feel like I could do a whole video on just journaling within itself. It's just so amazing. And now here is my favorite part of this particular self-care routine. I'm going to be taking a spell bath, a quote-unquote spell bath. I really don't like that name spell because I'm not doing witchcraft I'm not trying to put a spell on anybody but I I am going to be taking a feminine beautiful relaxing bubble bath and I have this Dr. Teal's um, Epsom salt with eucalyptus their lavender bubble bath and we just talked about all the benefits of eucalyptus and lavender very great for calming and relaxing and combating anxiety i have this really dusty bath bomb that is pretty lame but you know anything to just feminize that water a bit and you also add the essential oils to the bath water as well just a few drops so that that can really get into your skin and you can really reap the benefits of those essential oils optimally and like i said i will reiterate this please make sure they are 100 percent organic essential oils that you use no toxins no fillers no crap um, just make sure you're getting all the oils and here i am chopping fruit as horrifying as it looks i'm just making a fruit bowl with strawberries blueberries and some fresh pineapple that i chop up every week and keep in the fridge just delicious succulent beautiful fruit bowl that i'm going to be enjoying while i take my bubble bath so here i have some beautiful fresh roses I love to have fresh roses in the home. It just makes you feel more feminine. It's just a happy thing to have around. It just makes you feel happy every time you look at them, you smell them, and it's bringing the outside inside with you. And we're going to bring outside into our bathtub as well. We're going to take a rose or two and just fill our bathtub with rose petals. Here, I don't have that much. I didn't want to use up all my roses, um, but I just wanted to add that extra feminine touch and rose is actually really beneficial for the skin as well obviously you're going to be making rose water with it in the bathtub with you so it's just an amazing thing to add to your bubble bath and then I light some candles I make some herbal teas this particular herbal tea is chamomile, lemongrass, spearmint, tilia, peppermint, passion flower. Just really great herbs for relaxing and calming. And I don't really drink wine or anything like that. I love my teas. I've been a huge tea drinker since I was a little girl, so I always have a cup of tea in my hand. And it's just a great way to have time with yourself, connect with yourself, and connect with the earth. You know, when you're drinking a herbal tea, you're really connecting with the earth and the medicine that God put on this planet for us. It's, I just love tea. As you can see, I'm a tea weirdo, so. But here I have this bath stand that I got off Amazon as well. And it's perfect, you know, it has a place for you to put your phone, put your wine if you're drinking that. I'm not using that little wine slot, as you can see. I'm using it to hold my tea. I put my book on there, and I'm ready to relax. So make sure you have some really relaxing music on, some candles lit, and if you're the type of person who's always on your phone, just put your phone in the other room, 
don't let anything distract you from this time. If you're not the type of person who wants to sit and read a book while you're in the bathtub, then you can use you know, your phone or tablet to watch a movie or something. That's okay too. But if you're the type of person who's been doing a lot of that, then try to have a moment away from it. And then you can get your phone and watch, you know, some videos or some movies or whatever you like. You know, just just do whatever feels right to you and connect with yourself and and just have a moment for yourself. Eat some fruit. I actually hate to watch myself eat. This is torture. <laughs> but um, I'm obviously loving this fruit bowl I got going and drink some tea and just sit back and let your mind just drift off and try to meditate in the moment and just really be present with yourself. And then when you've had a moment of that and you just kind of want to, you know, some entertainment, then you can grab your phone or tablet and watch some of your favorite gamer YouTubers and all their shenanigans or whatever you got going on. <laughs> really, all I watch is uh, YouTubers play video games. Like, I don't watch anything else. And you know what? I love it. It's just so much better than anything on television. Like, nothing on TV can beat YouTube gamers. Nothing. <laughs> Look, that's how I feel, and I'm not changing my mind about it. So after you are done with your bubble bath, then that is usually when I am ready to go to bed, you know, call it a night. And that is it for this particular self-care routine. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I really hope that you gained some good ideas to do some activities at home with yourself and just really have some you time, treat yourself like the queen or the king that you are, and just love on yourself and, and do what you love. So that's it for this video guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!